Now, hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Another Swiss 001 video. And welcome back on Steam. Today, we're going to check out free stuff again. And don't we love free stuff on the channel? <laughs> Yes, yeah, so I basically just found a, a free flight simulator here on Steam called Acro FS. And yes, this is actually free. You can download it now if you should. Let's find that exactly out today. Now, it came out actually in 2018, and uh, well, it, it is very promising. The pictures are very beautiful. This almost looks uh, better than some X Plane pictures. This actually looks very nice, but there are only mixed reviews, which is a little interesting. I mean, there's a lot of people just saying trash. Thanks for that information. Suck great information too but there's also a lot of recommending people but actually you know most people that you know leave a negative review actually only have issues with compatibility you know doesn't launch or doesn't work with Rustmaster Hotess doesn't exist just mention that too so maybe since these uh, reviews don't really give us a lot of information uh, let's uh, check this simulator out indeed it is apparently very exotic a recreational stick and rudder flight simulator for high performance acrobatic air or aerobatic aircraft the thing is I'm not that into aerobatic aircraft but we're gonna check it out but I can see one one thing that kind of sucks already the checklist is done and the engine is running meaning that probably the realism of this flight simulator is um low okay let's check it out right here well, uh, let's just go ahead and press play now and see what's to happen. All right, now welcome aboard Acro FS, which I don't, what, what is, uh, does that stand for acrobatic? I've only noticed that now. Great. Okay, let's just press play. We have a few things to do. Uh, practice, racing, scenarios, settings, probably the best feature. Okay, let's go to practice. And here we can select aircraft. And now this is now where it kind of gets interesting already, of course. Now we can select our aircraft. We have, for example, the extra, extra, if you know that plane. Uh, there's also this one and the Super Decathlon. Uh, also very interesting plane. There's also a Russian plane, though, the Yak. 54. That's it. Now we can uh, check out the super decathlon. Decathlon? Decathlon? I don't know. Okay, so here we can select airport or location where we can fly at. I can already mention there are not too many locations, okay? Let <laughs> me just say that, alright? So there's a Borrego Springs. There's Borrego Springs at night. There's some obstacle course, whatever. Uh, Flight School, Homestead, and Joe's Garage. These places all look like radiator springs from cars. Okay, let's go to Borrego Springs or radiator springs. Okay, whatever. Let's just press the ready and fly. All right, now we're spawned in here. As the description already says on Steam, we are spawned in with an actual running engine, which uh, sounds okay too. All right, let's go ahead and uh, check out those cameras that we have. We can actually take a look at the plane. As you can see, it looks good. That's... <laughs> No, really, it, it looks really nice. Uh, the cockpit looks nice too. What does not work is the interactiveness of the cockpit. You cannot interact with any of the buttons that the plane here has, but that is not that big of a problem. Uh, but yeah, this plane actually, this is not, not too bad. We can say that, all right? Let's go ahead and now take off, really. Um, let's go to the cockpit camera again. Uh, I think it's F5 that we have, there we go, F5. Let's go ahead and put on throttle a little bit. What does work is joystick support. Yes, joysticks work with the flight simulator too. And since this is a very high performance aircraft, we can immediately take off. Uh, and uh, there we go, we're off in the air. Now let's take a little bit of a look at the graphics here. Looks very good. And uh, we can already pull some maneuvers right there. And so this is a, again, a very high performance stunt plane. If I'm being honest, this plane seems like a little bit too overpowered right there. This thing performs like an RC plane would perform. I mean, I've flown real RC planes, of course, before. Um, and this plane flies just like them. It flies like it weighs five kilos max. L look at how this plane flies. We can we can pull pull off every maneuver right there. This is in no way realistic, right? I mean, I've never flown a stunt plane in real life, of course not, or not even in the flight simulator. But uh, I'm pretty sure the the the, the, the super deck at lawn is not that crazy of a plane, is it? I mean, I don't know. I'm just uh, you know asking the question if we should doubt the physics here, <laughs> the physics engine, because it's actually been criticized in some reviews too. They've crashed. We do reset the game. Change aircraft. Maybe we can do that too. Check out the extra, extra plane. Here we go. Oh, this is what that looks like in the cockpit. Again, the graphics are, especially this came out in 2018, which is already three years ago, which is weird to think about. Uh, but the graphics are really, really nice. And uh, we know we've got motion blur, which I don't be a fan of. That was not grammatically correct. Uh, but yeah, this is all right. Let's go ahead and actually come in for the first time ever in this flight simulator for a landing, okay? I mean, just the views here. The, the fixed camera kind of makes this look like an RC plane. That's a little weird. Okay, let's come in. Now, a thing that I can already say is that the sensitivity of the joystick here is absolutely ridiculously high, and it's almost unflyable at that point. Okay, let's go ahead and land. Come on. Oh. Did, did you hear that sound? Oh. 
that that crash sound when we I, I remember this was actually criticized in another review if you ding this plane it just makes a fake plastic sound like it dropped the tupperware on the kitchen floor it does if we take a close listen with that okay let me just uh, change airport let's check out what other locations we have i mean what can i really say i mean after only playing this for a few minutes the graphics are nice and that's it <laughs> All right, there we go. Oh, another location with an actual house. This is absolutely beautiful, especially the sky. The sky is always underrated. By the way, talking about skies, this is not, it's not like the flight simulator cannot do anything. We can actually change the environment and add clouds, which I think is very interesting. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, go for 3,000 feet. Density, 100%. So we have some overcast clouds, I'm guessing. Some thickness in there. Maybe some precipitation, rain. Interesting. We do have clouds. This is something that I would not really expect from a free flight simulator that actually you cannot spend any money at. I think you cannot spend money to in this flight sim, right? There's nothing to extra to buy, which is actually the cool thing. Uh, there's nothing extra to buy or that you have to buy in order to play this game properly, I'm guessing. Which is great, okay, let's take off here on this road. I mean, there's a few airports that are actually... I'll work with road and we were greeted here with uh, the interesting crash sounds what does look absolutely beautiful is of course the trees that is beautiful i mean just the fact that we have 3d trees i mean that's something that microsoft flight simulator 2020 changed completely just the addition of trees to a flight simulator very awesome of course and that is very appreciated in a, in a free flight simulator like this too all right let's go back maybe try to try this again all right all righty let's try this again Taking off. Let's say this is gonna work. There we go. Let's go to outside view. I mean, this this thing is a little strange. This kind of flies like an RC plane, but it's not an RC plane, obviously. It's like upscaled. You know what I mean? It's like so weird. Oh, oh damn, looks cool though. This flying here. No, this is actually super beautiful. Which is like sad that the plane's not work. That was not grammatically correct again. I'm sorry. Oh. There we go. That was a crash sound. <laughs> Sounds like plastic hitting the floor. <laughs> Guy's right. Okay, maybe let's actually change the plane as well too. Let's maybe check out the Yak-52. I'm very interested in flying that plane too. All right, Yak-52, let's go ahead now. Actually, all planes sound the same, right? They all sound the same. Yeah, they have the, oh, great. But let's actually change the environment as well. Let me go ahead and get some winds in here. But the problem here is that it's measured in miles per hour, which is like, why? You always measure knots, okay? What's really cool though is actually that like, it can change the sun angle, inclination, azimuth. Do I look like I know what that exactly means? That's really interesting. Okay, not bad. Okay, let's maybe again get some clouds in here, get some more density, get some of that, get some more precipitation. We're not spawning in with the worst weather, weather possible. And by sun angle, they of course also mean the time of day. So it's night right now. That's what that is. Okay, that makes sense. <laughs> Why would you not just have a slider of time? You know, we can change time simply. That would make so much more sense. <laughs> okay, uh, all right, let's guess what the sun inclination is then uh, of the day. All right, now it's day again, but we're still with a badly crashed plane now. Huh? All right, there we go. Now uh, let's get some uh, bad weather flying going on. There are some hefty winds going on here. Oh, wow, we've got some hefty crosswinds. The actual wind simulation doesn't look bad. And look how this flight simulator just blooms. It's a little weird that the sun is, like, shining through the clouds, which, you know, this makes it look like uh, some sort of Mars. Doesn't make us look like planet Earth, right? But it looks really cool. That's, uh, that's, that's nice, right? Yeah, I, I don't know what to say, honestly. <laughs> Let me check out the cockpit of this plane. I mean, it's, it's got to be different, of course. All right, we just crashed again, by the way. This is a nice looking cockpit too. Disappointing, but has promised. Being a real world acro pilot, I was very excited when I saw this. That being said, I was very let down when I played. Dude, this is a free flight simulator. Let me just mention that right here. Overall, 3.5 out of 10 for me. For me too. To be honest though, this is actually a very nice looking flight simulator. Right, the, the graphics are good. The physics are a little interesting. Uh, yeah. But there are quite a few planes that you can find in other flight simulators. So maybe this is a, a Also, it's free. I, I always forget that it's free and not like 50 euros like Microsoft Flight Simulator charges. Maybe this is not too bad after all. So yeah guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. As always, good night. Thank you to all my members here on YouTube like Block, Mubarak, Junk in the Trunk, Rafal, Old Man the Human, DJ Straw, Dilo, Tyler Park, Ian from Osk, Gurkham, uh, Stefan Smithofer, Moritz Wilhausen, Tuppy Cook, uh, Great Crime but John, No to You, Larry Deslama, Government Pasta, Calamity Airlines, Kelly Chaos, Philip Terrier, uh, uh, Science, uh, Mass Collegue, Rodolfo, New York, Oli H, Bliviation, Cheese Doritos, Shadow.